Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to upgrade to Boost Auto's power folding 2015 style GM tow mirrors for 2007 through 2014 Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra. Boost Auto presents 2015 style tow mirrors now available with Power Fold. Upgrade to Power Fold even if your truck did not originally have it. Don't let your factory configuration hold you back. Our patented wireless technology integrates seamlessly to your existing mirror controls that allow a clean, hassle free install. Enjoy great visibility while towing or daily driving alike, even in the harshest weather. Enjoy customizable mirror caps, marker lights, and so many more premium features. We also offer a super easy solution to those whose vehicles are equipped with factory power fold. Please reference the plug and play install guide for that application. So what are you waiting for? Build your mirrors out on our website and put in your order today. As always, to check fitment, availability, and to purchase this or any other product offered for your truck, go to BoostAuto.com. Your tow mirror kit from Boost Auto will come with two GM 2015 style tow mirrors and two extension harnesses. We're also using two fuse taps in this video. The wireless upgrade kit will come with two wireless modules, two driver side harnesses, one passenger side harness, and supplementary parts. Here are the tools we use for this install. You can pause here to collect them, then let's proceed with the install. Before you begin, roll down your windows and disconnect the battery at the negative terminal. If your truck has an auxiliary battery, disconnect that at this time too. Then move over to the driver door. The door panel removal and reassembly steps vary slightly depending on your truck's trim level. Please follow the steps that apply to your truck. These first steps are for higher trims. If your truck is in LS, LT, SL, or SLE, please skip ahead to the next section. Starting at the door lock tab, using a pick tool, release the locking tab. Then, remove the door lock tab. Next, remove the plastic cover behind the door grab using a trim tool. Once removed, there are two 10mm bolts. Remove them as well. Locate the plastic cover behind the door handle and pry it out. After that, remove the 10mm bolt underneath. Remove the plastic triangular piece that's covering the mirror mounting area. Then pry out the window switch and disconnect all the attached connectors. Using a plastic trim tool, release the locking tabs by gently prying on the door panel around the edges. Pull the door up and out, making sure not to damage any plastic tabs or the door lock tab. Put the door panel out, pinch the plastic tab on the door release cable to detach it. With the door panel completely detached, set it out of the way. We'll keep the harness going to the mirror and undo the factory tape at the factory tabs holding the tow mirror harness in. Now if your truck is a lower trim such as LS, LT, SL or SLE, you can pick back up over here. For higher trim trucks, please skip ahead to mirror replacement. Remove the triangular trim piece. Then, at the door lock tab, use a pick tool to release the locking tab and pull up on the door tab. Remove the trim piece on the door grab support. Then, remove the trim piece behind the door grab. Remove also the trim piece behind the door handle and unscrew the 10mm bolt behind it. There are two bolts behind the door grab. Remove them too. The door grab support has two more bolts. Go ahead and remove them too. Pull back on the door grab support to completely detach it. Then pry up on the window and mirror switch. Disconnect all the connectors here. On the fourth connector, use a pick tool to pry out on the lock then pull up to release it. Push down on the gray mirror connector clip here. Pry out around the edges of the door panel to release the tabs. 
pull the door panel up and out. Make sure not to damage the door lock tab. On the rear of the door panel, disconnect the door release cable. You'll need to depress these two tabs first so you can push it out of its fitting. With that, the door panel can be completely removed and set aside. Disconnect the mirror connector. Then pull down on the door insulation about halfway to access this metal door support. Go ahead and remove the three 10 millimeter bolts holding it in place. Then undo the clips holding the mirror harness in place or simply cut the tape off. At the mirror mount, disconnect the three 10 millimeter nuts here, supporting the mirror from the other side. Pull out on your factory small mirrors and guide the rest of the harness out. There may be a trim clip holding the mirror in place. If so, please release it first. Next, grab your brand new power folding Boost Auto tow mirrors. Proceed with mounting your Boost Auto tow mirror. Pass the harness through the hole and line up the studs with the factory holes. Secure the mirrors to the door using the 10 millimeter nuts. If you have these three factory clips from your old mirror harness, go ahead and remove them now. Then guide your mirror harness along the path of the old harness, securing the harness clips to the door. Next, we'll install the extension harness to enable some of the lighting features on your mirrors. Pass the white three pin connector from your mirror harness behind the insulation and connect it to your extension harness. This harness will need to be guided to the fuse box. If your tow mirrors came equipped with running lights, your extension harness will have three wires total. The orange wire being for running light. If you ordered signal only mirrors, your harness will not have the orange wire. In that case, you can disregard any steps pertaining to the orange wire. Locate the door jam boot and release it using a flathead screwdriver to press in on the tabs. Pass the extension harness inside of the door, then out through the door jam opening. Fish a coat hanger or strained out metal piece halfway through the door jam boot. Tape the harness to the other side and continue with passing the strained out metal piece through. Make sure you're not chafing any of the wires as you pull the harness through. With the harness routed, remove the tape. Then run the harness from the door jam boot to inside the cab. Then install the door jam boot by engaging its tabs. Repeat everything up until this point on the passenger side. Once the extension harness is inside the cab on the passenger side, tape it to a strained out metal piece and pass it behind the center console over to the driver's side. The driver's side gray wire and passenger side gray wire are both for ground. Locate this nut behind the brake pedal to secure both ground wires too. Go ahead and cut the gray wires to length and strip back some of the insulation. Then take an eyelet and crimp the two wires together. Remove the hex nut. This here is a 10 millimeter nut and proceed with installing the eyelet on the stud behind the brake pedal. Go ahead and splice together the driver's side orange wire to the passenger side orange wire and the driver's side white wire to the passenger side white wire, leaving enough slack on the wires. Use the excess length from the driver's side extension harness to run through the under hood. We're using book connectors to splice the wires in the video, but you can choose any method of your liking. Next, tip up the white and orange wires to the strained out metal piece and pass it through the firewall, poking it through the grommet under the dash as shown here. Under the hood below the driver's side hinge, locate the grommet and pull out the rest of the harness. Locate the fuse box under the dash and remove the lid. Cut the orange and white wires to length. Then go ahead and strip the end of the orange wire and crimp it to a fuse tab. 
Locate and remove the left park lamp fuse. The layout of the fuse box is printed on the underside of the fuse box lid for your reference. Please go off fuse location as the fuse color may vary. Place the removed fuse at the bottom slot of the orange running light wire. Then install the fuse tap from where the left parking lamp fuse was removed. Similarly, install a fuse tap to the white wire from your extension harness. Next, locate and remove the trailer backup fuse. Place the removed fuse at the bottom slot of the white reverse wire. Then install the fuse tap from where the trailer backup fuse was removed. With both wires connected at the fuse box, install the fuse box lid. In your tow mirror kit, you'll also receive our wireless upgrade kit that comes with the driver side and passenger side modules. The driver side module has two connector openings and the passenger side module only has one. The driver side also has two harnesses, the first with one eight pin black connector and two white connectors. The second one has one six pin black connector, two two pin black connectors and two disconnects. The passenger side harness is identical to this one with one six pin black connector, two two pin black connectors and two disconnects. Next, we'll show you how to install your wireless kit to higher trim trucks. Lower trim trucks, please skip ahead to the next section. Let's work on the driver's side first. Go ahead and connect the white connectors to the corresponding white connectors from the mirror harness. They are keyed so they cannot be inserted incorrectly. Bring over the other connector, the one with the quick disconnects. Bring the two two-pin black connector over to the mirror harness and connect the black connector with the blue and yellow wires to the corresponding black connector on the mirror harness. We don't need the orange wires for this application, so go ahead and tape that out of the way. Find this black and white connector from your door harness. We'll tap to this for power and ground. Go ahead and tap to pins two and six using the provided blue T-taps. With the connector tab pointing up, pin two is on the top row and the second slot from the left, and pin six is at the bottom right. With the T-taps installed, bring the two quick disconnects from your wireless harness and connect the red wire to T-tap at pin two, and connect the black wire to T-tap at pin six. Go ahead and guide all your connectors to the other side of the door installation, then proceed to the passenger side. The passenger side will only receive one wireless harness. Go ahead and connect the black two pin connectors with the blue and yellow wires to the corresponding connector. Then tape the black connectors with the orange wires out of the way, as it's not needed for this application. Locate the black and white connector from your door harness, just like the driver's side, and tap to pins two and six here as well using the provided blue T-taps. With the connector tab pointing up, pin two is on the top row, in the second slot from the left, and pin six is at the bottom right. With the T-taps installed, bring the two quick disconnects from your wireless harness and connect the red wire to T-tap at pin two, and connect the black wire to T-tap at pin six. Back on the driver's side, take your wireless module and secure it to the door panel as shown here, or find an alternative position that works for you. Remember, the driver side module is the one with the two connector opening. You can secure the passenger side module in the same way. After this, proceed to door panel reassembly. If you have a lower trim truck, you can pick back up over here. Go ahead and connect the white connectors to the corresponding white connectors from the mirror harness. They are keyed so they cannot be inserted incorrectly. Bring the two two pin black connectors over to the mirror harness and connect the black connector with the blue and yellow wires to the corresponding black connector on the mirror harness. We don't need the orange wires for this application, so go ahead and tape that out of the way. Find this black and white connector from your door harness, we'll tap to this for power and ground. Go ahead and tap to pins one and eight using the provided blue T-taps. With the connector tabs pointing up, pin one is at the top left and pin eight is at the bottom right. With the T-taps installed, bring the two quick disconnects from your wireless harness and connect the black wire to the T-tap at pin one and connect the red wire to T-tap and pin eight. Move over to the passenger side. The passenger side will only receive one wireless harness. Go ahead and connect the black two pin connector with the blue and yellow wires to the corresponding connector. 
Then tape the black connectors with the orange wires out of the way as it is not needed for this application. Locate the black and white connector from your door harness, just like the driver's side and tap to pins 6 and 7 here using the provided blue T-taps. With the connector tab pointing up, pin 6 is on the second row and the second slot from the left and pin 7 is on the second row, 2 over from the right. With the two T-taps installed, bring two disconnects from your wireless harness and connect the red wire to T-tap at pin 7 and connect the black wire to T-tap at pin 6. Back on the driver's side, take your wireless module and secure it to the door panel as shown here or find an alternative position that works for you. Remember, the driver's side module is the one with two connector openings. You can secure the passenger side module in the same way. After this, proceed to door panel reassembly. Here are the steps for door panel reassembly in higher trim trucks. Please skip ahead to the next section for steps pertaining to the lower trim door panel reassembly. We are showing the steps on the driver's side. Start by bringing your door panel to the door. Connect the two wireless harnesses to the wireless module on the door panel. The connector sizes are different, so they can only go to the correct opening. Remember, on the passenger side, the wireless modules will only receive one connector. Once the wireless module is wired up, pass the connectors through the window and mirror switch opening. Connect the door release cable. Then guide the door panel in place, making sure not to damage the door lock tab in the process. Bring over the window of mirror switch and install the connectors. Then slide the switch into place, making sure all the tabs are engaged. Install this triangular trim piece. Then install the bolt behind the door handle and insert the plastic cover behind it. Install the two bolts at the door grab. as well as the cover in front. Finally, install the door lock tab. Repeat on the passenger side, then proceed to the final steps. For lower trim trucks, begin door panel reassembly by installing the metal door support. We're showing this on the driver's side. Pass all the harness through the installation. Connect the black connector from the mirror harness to the connector opening at the door. Then tape this white connector from your mirror harness out of the way. If you don't have a connector opening for it, this connector is only applicable for certain trims. After that, bring the door panel over. Connect the two wireless harnesses to the wireless module on the door panel. The connector sizes are different, so they can only go into the correct opening. Remember, on the passenger side, the wireless module will only receive one connector. Connect the door release cable. Then fish all the connectors out through the opening of the window and mirror switch. Guide the door panel in place, making sure not to damage the door lock tab in the process. By the window and mirror switch, insert the gray tab on the mirror connector in its original place. Install all the connectors at their original locations. Then press the window and mirror switch until the tabs latch. Install the door grab support, then install the two screws there, the two screws behind the door grab, and the one screw behind the door handle. Install the door lock lever back in place and press in the tab to secure it. Finally, install the foam insulation by the mirror mount and install the triangular trim piece. Repeat on the passenger side. To complete your installation, reconnect the battery. If your truck has an auxiliary battery, reconnect that at this time too. Here's a little more about how to use your wireless feature. To begin, start by activating the modules. Do this by selecting the left mirror. Then use the left left right right sequence to activate the module. Once you hear two fast beeps, the modules are activated. While the modules are activated, the mirror glass will not adjust. Once the modules are activated, you may power fold. Tap up to fold the mirrors out, or tap down to fold the mirrors in. You may see the passenger side mirror start folding slightly after the driver's side due to the module communicating from side to side. To deactivate the modules, you have two options. The first option would be to let the modules time out. 
If there is no activity for 10 seconds, the modules will automatically deactivate. You can also deactivate the modules manually by using the left, left, right, right sequence on the mirror switch. You will hear three fast beeps once the modules are deactivated. Once the modules are deactivated, any left hand mirror adjustment will be slightly delayed to prevent erratic module activation. Thank you for watching this tutorial. To get yourself a set of these 2015 style tow mirrors, go to our website at BoostAuto.com. Boost Auto also offers a wide range of parts and accessories for your truck or SUV. To stay up to date on new product releases and more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all for now. We'll catch you in the next one.